Modern boats are getting bigger and heavier, which means that many owners are being exposed to electric brakes for the first time. Now, while they can seem a little bit of a mystery, with a basic understanding of how they work, you can get years of good, reliable service out of them. That's why we're here at Dumbia to find out. So the first part of the system is the brake controller. Now this is a dash mounted brake controller here and we'll check out the new Trailblazers in dash mounted system in a second. They're relatively simple machines and their function is simply to sense when I apply the brake and then send a voltage signal down these wires through to the actuator on the trailer. They work in different ways, but let's go and jump into the Trailblazers and have a quick look at the brand new system we've had installed from the factory. So you can see we've got the flush mount unit installed here, just down here to my left. Now there's a couple of basic functions that I can control from the driver's seat. The first is the sensitivity. So by simply dialing up the sensitivity, I can apply more or less brake pressure when my foot first contacts the pedal. The second thing, and this is a really important one, is the manual override switch. By depressing this button, I will immediately apply the trailer brakes to their maximum. Okay, so here we have an electric brake actuator. This is a Hydrostar, but they all work on a similar principle. They're made up of a pump, a circuit board, and a battery charging system. Now the way that the system works is the signal from our brake controller travels through the wiring loom and into the circuit board here. The voltage variance depends on how much pressure that pump will create. The lower the voltage, the lower the pressure. The higher the voltage, the higher the pressure. Now a really important part of this system is the breakaway unit. Now the breakaway unit comprises of a battery and a switch. So our breakaway switch is fitted here. It's a last resort. Should you ever be in a situation where the coupling and the chains fail, this little wire here will pull the breakaway switch, open the connection, and your battery will put 100% of your brake power back to those calipers. Now these are capable of making up to 1200 PSI of brake pressure, sends it down this brake line here, it's traveling down a system of pipe work all the way down our trailer till we get to our brake calipers. Now there's one caliper per wheel and one brake rotor per wheel as well. Trailer brake rotors are relatively small for the mass that they carry. In this case, they're only 260 millimeters. So they work pretty hard. It's something you need to be careful of and make sure that you inspect those brakes regularly. So hopefully you understand a little bit more now about how electric over hydraulic brake systems work. If you're not sure, speak to your dealer um, or maybe drop us a line down here at Dumbia. We're always happy to help.